Snowflake has been gaining popularity in recent years, and it's easy to see why. It is a fast, scalable, accessible, secure, cost-effective, feature-rich cloud data warehouse platform and available as a service. Once you have had a test of what Snowflake brings, it is difficult to go back to the traditional way of doing data warehousing. Perhaps you have tried your hands at some of other technologies such as Spark, Redshift, BigQuery, or Azure Synapse Analytics, which have a steep learning curve, provision heavy, a lot of lever to control. Snowflake, on the other hand, is a cloud native and fully SQL based system. Odds are, if you have some experience in BI or data analysis, you have already worked with SQL before. Most of what you already know can be applied to the Snowflake. It has been listed as a leader for three consecutive years in the Gardner Magic Quadrant for data management solution for analytics. And in this chapter, we will see close to 15 plus powerful feature of the Snowflake cloud data warehouse system that makes this tool super powerful yet simple and very flexible. I can guarantee you that this quick video on Snowflake unique features will make you a more effective Snowflake practitioner and brings a lot of day-to-day -day productivity and make you more confident executing Snowflake projects. So stay tuned until the end of this video. Hello and a warm welcome to my channel Data Engineering Simplified and this is Snowflake video series, a real jump start course for data professionals. In the last five episodes, we have already covered Snowflake history, its architecture, how to subscribe for different Snowflake editions, classic web UI and Snow site modern web UI. In this episode, we will focus on Snowflake unique features and key differentiator. I hope you have been enjoying this visual guided tour on Snowflake. So let's start with chapter six. So what is covered in this chapter? This chapter is not about a hands-on chapter. This is primarily listing out all the Snowflake's unique features and comparing those features with some of the traditional as well as cloud native solutions which are available alongside Snowflake. Before I proceed with unique features of Snowflake, let me just highlight about ETL or ELT and the modern data warehouse context and challenges around different business need and operational needs. Data sources are generating data at different speed and it has to be made available to different consumer or downstream applications for a different business purpose. Some of these data sources are on-premises like DB2 legacy system or a SQL server or a server log from your application environment. Some of the data sources are available via web API and they can be consumed directly from your cloud environment like Salesforce or a ServiceNow. They might be available under different cloud provider than your Snowflake cloud instance. We will see how Snowflake unique features help us to onboard and ingest all kinds of data and its limitation too. So you can think ahead how long your project will take to onboard different kind of data set. Once you know how to ingest, you have to plan to store the data via table or you would like to consume them via external table and how to store them effectively so it can be queried faster and you can build different semantic models. We will see Snowflake unique features around data curation and how different type of workloads can be executed on same or different data set including scalability features. How this data can be secured via encryption and masking policy if you have very strict compliance requirement. How to share data within and outside your organization without any extra cost. How to plan data recovery and failover features. How to support large user base who wants to consume within organization across department and outside your organization. So these are the general context and through these unique features you would be able to answer all those questions and queries. Before we proceed further, I have a small announcement to make. If you really want to master Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse, I would recommend you to look into my channel's playlist. The playlist section includes Snow Pro and Advanced Certification Guide, Mock Question Series, Important SQL Functions, Snowflake Connector Series, Snowflake Features and Limitations, and many more real-life hands-on videos. By watching my free video series, Many data engineers, leads, and architect, and even managers are getting certified in Snow Pro Core and Advanced Certification. And the success rate is very, very high. I'm not lying. Just look into the comment. You don't need to buy any expensive courses. Just subscribe to my channel and I guarantee that you would easily learn this technology and get certified in just few weeks. So one small favor, if you are learning from my channel and my content, please, please, please hit the like button and this gesture will make me super happy and YouTube will also promote this video to other audiences who are willing to learn the Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse. Feature 1. Major Cloud Platform Support Snowflake can be hosted in any one of the three major cloud providers, AWS, Azure, or GCP. The majority of the Snowflake core functionalities and features are available across all the cloud providers. Data loading and data ingestion is supported across all the three cloud providers so you can store your data in GCP and load them into AWS Snowflake instance, batch as well as streaming. The majority of the cloud regions are supported. 
So you can host your Snowflake instance to one of the regions where your data is located. The pricing is so simple that it does not depend on the cloud provider. It all depends on the Snowflake edition which you are planning for your data platform. All the compliance and security features are available across all the cloud providers and that makes business owners life very very easy. So when you compare Amazon Redshift or Google BigQuery or Azure Synapse. So you have a lot of flexibility to choose your cloud provider and Snowflake make this process very simple. Choose edition and your pricing are based on edition. Feature 2 unlimited storage and compute. Since Snowflake is born in the cloud and natively built using cloud technologies, it takes the advantage of infinite scalability, elasticity and redundancy features and hence you can store more and scale up and down your compute as needed. The provision for storage and compute is so simple and driven by SQL statement, it brings a different level of simplicity versus a Spark cluster or a Redshift cluster or Synapse cluster. You only pay for what you store and running compute. When compute is not used, it is not charged even a single penny. The storage is encrypted and compressed. So overall storage cost is very, very competitive. The storage cost is based on a daily compressed average. The compute cost is per second basis. So the first 60 seconds are charged fixed followed by per second billing model. That's what make Snowflake so powerful, very competitive and very, very cheap. Feature three, data platform as a service. Snowflake is true SaaS offering, no hardware, virtual or physical to select, install, configure or manage. There is virtually no software to install, configure or manage. Ongoing maintenance, management, upgrade and tuning are handled by Snowflake. Any business or data team can technically start their data platform at no time. Storage, compute, cloud services and data transfer monitoring and alert via notification and hard stop are provided by Snowflake. So compute credit can be managed by business or business group very, very easily. You can refer this chart very intuitive and it gives a lot of control to manage your cost. Feature 4 Unique 3 layer architecture Storage, compute and other administrative like cloud services are decoupled so they can scale up and down independently. You can run your business with 10 users or 10k users that does not really impact your analytical workload in Snowflake. The cloud service which is also called brain of the snowflake takes care of scalability of number of sessions, users and optimization so well that you don't have to worry about anything unlike other data warehouse platform. We have discussed the snowflake architecture in chapter three. You can refer the link above. The storage and compute can scale up and down independently. So there is no contention like ETL job has to run only on this window. You can run as many as ETL job and Snowflake will provide you unlimited compute to serve you better. You can attach and scale up and down your compute on fly and serve better or faster to meet your business SLA on demand. This helps you to keep your data pipeline design simple and focus on the business logic. In other platform, if your query is already running, you cannot increase and decrease the compute. You cannot scale up and down your compute. However, in Snowflake, even if your query is running, you can simply scale up and add more compute and your query will start running faster if there is a contention. And this is one of the powerful feature which helps you to focus on your business logic rather than scaling up and down your infrastructure along with your business code. Feature five. Virtual warehouse or compute. Virtual warehouse is on-demand compute which can be attached or detached with very simple SQL statement. Compute can be scaled up or down with alter statement just like any other database object. Compute objects are available as t-shirt size and pricing for them is very simple. Extra small virtual warehouse which includes one node cluster compute will cost one credit per hour and a small virtual warehouse two node cluster will cost two credit per hour. Credit to dollar mapping is based on the Snowflake edition. Compute can be altered during the runtime as a query. So you don't need to abort your query. And if the ETL job is hungry for resources, you can speed up without killing the job. Multi-cluster compute helps to tackle the high concurrency workload where your dashboards are being served to thousands of users. This is one of the most powerful feature. Feature six. Support for structured and semi-structured data. You can load CSV, which is again delimited separated values. It means you can have tab separated, comma separated, any kind of separated values, Parquet, ORC, Avro, JSON, XML files. You can query them using simple SQL statement and Snowflake has a rich and extended SQL command to support it. Snowflake has optimized the semi-structured data access so it is very fast and serve your business need without any latency. JSON and other semi-structured data are automatically stored as a separate column without our knowledge so you can run faster queries. Feature 7 Time Travel Feature and Fail Safe as part of continuous data protection lifecycle, Snowflake allows you to access historical data 
from table, schema, or database at any point within the defined period. It serves powerful purpose for use cases like restoring data related object that might have been accidentally deleted, duplicating or backup data from key point in the past, analyzing data usage or manipulation over a specified period of time. So this is how it looks like. You can create a table. You can define the retention period up to 90 days. You can also alter the retention period from 90 days to any shorter length. And once your retention period is created and when you are manipulating data, you can use the keyword, for example, timestamp, offset or before statement. Through this extended SQL, you can really undrop a table. You can really make a copy of the tables from a specified point of time. You can also compare data set from the same table to different time and you can understand what has gone wrong. If you are trying to investigate an issue or any manipulation which has gone wrong as a part of your ETL job. So this is one of the powerful feature. Feature number eight, clone or sometimes it is called zero copy clone. Clone or zero copy clone creates a copy of database or schema or table without actually copying the data. It is a snapshot of the data to the source object. The clone object is writable object and independent of the source object. Since it is a point in time snapshot and a reference to source object, it does not cost anything extra unless changes are applied to the cloned object. Cloning a database will clone all the schemas and the tables within that database. Cloning a schema will clone all the tables in that schema. This is very powerful tool as you can use the time travel feature and the clone feature to create a mirror environment to investigate an issue without any extra storage cost and data transfer. Cloning feature is also used to build environments like prod to QA or QA to dev or vice versa without any extra storage cost. Cloning is just a simple SQL statement and since it does not need any additional space, many data copy challenges can be easily solved through cloning feature. Feature 9. Continuous data loading via Snowpipe, Stream and Task Object. Snowflake has a serverless component called Snowpipe which can be integrated with external objects like S3 or Azure Blob and ingest data as and when new chunk of data arrives. Snowpipe helps to build CDC or micro batch use cases and since it is a serverless compute, it is nearly maintenance free. Snowpipe closely works with two other objects called Stream and Task and this object actually capture the changes and act to move data forward and this object help you to build complex ETL or ELT solution in Snowflake to serve your CDC or a micro batch use cases. The overall construct for Snowpipe, Stream and Task are very simple and they allow you to focus only on domain problem and that makes this set of object a powerful combination and any SQL developer can build micro batch or CDC solution very easily. If you go for Azure Synapse, Redshift or Apache Spark or a Databricks, the CDC is a very complex solution. However, in Snowflake, this solution is much more easy and there are a lot of inbuilt feature provided by Snowflake which makes you to focus on your domain problem. Feature 10 Support to ANSI SQL plus extended SQL Everything in Snowflake is SQL and it extends the same SQL construct for newly introduced objects like Snowpipe, Stream, Task, File Format, etc. If you have right role, you can perform any administrative, provisional, resource monitoring task using simple and easy to understand SQL statement. Since it supports ANSI SQL standard, it makes on-prem to cloud migration super easy. As long as your DDL or DML statement that are part of ETL job or stored procedure etc are following ANSI standard, it can be migrated to Snowflake with zero or minimal effort. Its extended SQL is very feature rich and adds so many useful library to help you so you become more productive. It also provides a rich information schema that is based on SQL 92 ANSI information schema. It also follows a standard object hierarchy like one Snowflake account can have many databases and each database can have many schemas and all the objects like table, view, function, stored procedure etc are part of the schema. Feature 11 micro partition and data clustering in Snowflake. Traditional data warehouse rely on static partition of large table to achieve acceptable performance and enable better scaling. The Snowflake data platform implements a powerful and unique form of partition called micro partition that delivers all the advantage of static partitioning without the known limitation as well as provide additional significant benefits. All the data in Snowflake table is automatically divided into micro partition which are continuous unit of storage. Each micro partition contains between 50 MB to 500 MB of uncompressed data. Snowflake store metadata about all rows stored in a micro partition including the range of values for each of the column in the micro partition, the number of distinct values, additional properties used for both optimization and efficient query processing. Micro partition is automatically performed on Snowflake tables. Tables are transparently partitioned using the ordering of the data as it is inserted and loaded. Micro partition and data clustering concept makes Snowflake simple, easy and super powerful and very very fast.
let's understand with a conceptual model. The table consists 24 rows stored across four micro partition with the rows divided equally between each micro partition. Within each micro partition, the data is sorted and stored by column which enable Snowflake to perform the following actions for queries on the table. First, prune micro partitions that are not needed for the query. Then prune by column within the remaining micro partition. This diagram is intended only for a small scale conceptual representation of the data clustering that Snowflake utilizes in micro partition. A typical Snowflake table may consist of thousands and even millions of micro partition. Feature 12 data encryption and security. Data security at rest and at motion in Snowflake. All data set is encrypted using AES-256 strong encryption. All files stored in stage area is automatically encrypted using AES-128 or AES-256 strong encryption. All communication over internet is via HTTPS. Business critical edition of Snowflake also support key rotation. Network policy helps you to control the Snowflake access. IP whitelisting policy can be created to allow and disallow IPs. All Snowflake edition has MFA features enabled and user can opt for MFA for additional security. All access to Snowflake can be tracked via query history whether it is internal query external query query through the connector or any kind of query all those queries can be tracked through the query history feature 13 RBAC and DAC all the objects warehouses database schema tables etc can be controlled by DAC or RBAC RBAC stands for role based access control which is a very known concept across all other platform DAC stands for discretionary access control Snowflake implement hybrid model of DAC and RBAC DAC handles the ownership each object has owner and owner has full access to the object and you can also transfer the ownership from one role to another role. RBAC handle all other access except ownership like object privilege and role access. Object privilege assigned to a role which are in turn assigned to a user. Snowflake has a very strong role hierarchy. Using this role hierarchy, you can really achieve a very, very powerful security model for your domain. Feature 14, data sharing and reader account. Traditional data sharing challenges, email, it is easy to share data via email. However, it has a limit plus it can be forwarded to other folks and it is not at all secure. FTP easy but administration and deconstruct is a complex thing. ETL mature but time taking and complex and costly built for a specific purpose. APIs okay for small data and issue with a large data set. Cloud storage like Google Drive and etc. Lot of services available but DML not supported on this data set. Less performance when query data. Snowflake data sharing is a powerful feature and no data copy and no data movement anywhere. The sharing feature is achieved by using cloud service layer, hence the operation does not cost even a single pin. One share object is created, one or more consumer can be added. Reader's account is an alternative to share data if consumer does not have a Snowflake account. No hard limit on number of shares you can create or the number of account you can add to a share. Along with share and reader accounts, you can also have a masking policy which will secure your data at row level add as well as at the field level. So this is one of the very unique and powerful feature. Feature 15, data replication and failover. In the event of massive outage due to network issue or a software bug, etc., that disrupt the cloud services in a given region, access to Snowflake will be unavailable until the source of the outage is resolved and services are restored. To ensure continued availability and the data durability in such scenario, you can replicate your databases in a given region to another Snowflake account owned by your organization in a different region. Database replication is supported across region and across cloud platform and it is one of the powerful feature which is a limitation for AWS Redshift or Azure Synapse Analytics or Google BigQuery. Privileges granted on database object are not replicated to the secondary database and this is one of the limitations. So this pictorial diagram shows how you can have your two Snowflake account under the same organization in the different region and you can achieve the replication between these two instances and you can make one of them primary and one of them secondary. In case of outage, your secondary database becomes your primary database and this is how Snowflake achieve your data replication and failover. There are certain limitations in this feature. However, this is still a very, very powerful feature compared to other cloud native solution. Feature 16 connectors and driver ecosystem. A snowflake ecosystem around drivers and connectors are very rich and it has all sort of connector available to serve the different need. A snowflake has also built native connectors to help businesses and developer community to use their choice of integration style. This helps your existing code base or solution works with snowflake without any heavy migration effort. Connector is growing and being enhanced regularly. 
Feature 17, Partner Connect. Partner Connect lets you easily create trial account with selected Snowflake businesses partners and integrate these accounts with your Snowflake account. This feature provides a convenient option for trying various third-party tools and services and then adopting the ones that best meet your business need. They have many partners under different category like data integration, machine learning, business intelligence, security and governance, SQL development and management. And the list is growing. Feature 18. Data Marketplace. The Snowflake Data Marketplace utilizes Snowflake Secure Data Sharing to connect providers of the data with consumers. You can discover and access a variety of third-party data and have those data set available directly in your Snowflake account to query without transformation and join it with your own data set. You can also become a provider and publish data in the data marketplace and monetize your data. The Snowflake Data Marketplace is available globally to all non-VPS Snowflake account hosted on AWS, GCP and Microsoft Azure with exception of Microsoft Azure government. So we have covered 18 features. So we have covered 18 powerful features of Snowflake. When you look into this feature compared to the same feature available in other cloud native solution, they are very easy to implement. It is very, very competitive with respect to price and the way Snowflake has built this solution and anybody who knows SQL can really implement those features very easily without any extra steep learning. So we have seen the 18 unique features. Some of them are really, really unique. Some of them might be overlapping with other technologies, but the way it has been implemented in Snowflake makes our life more easy. Let me also walk you through the feature map tree, which I have built to help you. So let me go through one by one quickly. So when it comes to the data loading, we call it data ingestion. We can categorize it in a batch loading or we can also talk about real time loading. So batch loading can be done through the internal stage and it supports a put command. You can do user stage, table stage and named stage. Then it comes to the external stage. So you can map any external stage data from AWS, Azure blob or GCP bucket. You can also map hype meta store. When it comes to the real time loading, Snowflake says that it has a latency of one minute. So it is not a millisecond based real time streaming here. You can use Snowpipe and Snowpipe can be integrated with AWS, Azure or GCP or you can also use Python and Java via internal stage. It also has a connector like Kafka connector, Spark connector or JDBC, ODBC connector which can help you to build a real time or as well as batch loading data solutions. Now we'll go to the storage. So when it comes to the storage, Snowflake has a lot of solutions. So as a standard, we have a database in which we have a schema and I can go with table views and uh, different object like stages, format, pipe, stream, task, stored procedure. When it comes to the shared database, within the shared database, I can have a schema and within the schema, I can have table views and UDF. I can also share the data to other Snowflake subscriber as well as non-subscriber through the reader account. I can also use the data cloning, which can clone my database, schema and table. I can also do the cross cloud replication, which again falls under the storage. I can also use the time travel features to undrop the schema database and table. And the time travel features allowed me to restore the data up to 97 days for a specific edition of Snowflake. I can also use the extended SQL support to recover data at any particular point of time. And then storage is supported by the micro partition to make the storage more compressed and the cost effective. Then it comes to the compute. In the compute, I have a standard virtual warehouse which comes in a t-shirt size starting from one node cluster to 128 node cluster. But now Snowflake is going even more than 500 node cluster instances. You can also have a multi-cluster virtual warehouses which comes with two flavor standard and economy to serve your customer better. Auto suspend and auto resume and pay for running cost. Virtual warehouse caching is one of the important thing uh, which we will discuss in the future chapters. When it comes to the security, Snowflake has a very powerful security features. It encrypts all the storage data at rest as well as motion with AES-256. It enables SSO, MFA, key pair authentication with network policy. It also has compliance like HIPAA SOC 1, SOC 2, PCI DSS and HIT Trust CFS. It also supports RBAC and DAG based security for your database object and all other account level object. It has a powerful caching feature and executed query data can be accessed within 24 hours without any extra cost. And it also has a compute level caching. When it comes to the data type for most of the structured data type, it really matches with the standard SQL. When it comes to the semi-structured data, it supports JSON, XML, Parquet, ORC, Evro. And when it comes to the binary, it has up to 8 MB of binary size data support. We have seen the data marketplace where you can buy and sell the data. You also have a partner connect for different kind of a tooling ecosystem. 
there is a visualization tool called SnowSight Modern Web UI, which we have seen in the chapter five. And then it has an interface and connector. The list is growing, but we have Snowflake Classic Console, which is also called Legacy Web UI, Snowflake Modern Web UI, which is also called SnowSight, SnowSQL, which is a CLI for Snowflake, Spark Connector, Python Connector, JDBC Connector, and many more. So this is the complete list of feature which Snowflake has. And this makes Snowflake very unique, powerful, and very, very popular among the business community as well as the developer community. So what we have learned in this chapter, let's have a quick recap. Key features associated with data loading like batch and streaming, key features associated with data security, data storage and micro partition concept, time travel, zero copy clone, data sharing, data marketplace, cross cloud replication, failover and many more. So what's our next chapter? database and the container concept in Snowflake. Thank you for watching this Snowflake tutorial video series. If you have any constructive feedback, please share your comment. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified of my latest videos. Thank you and happy learning.